Hi guys. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I figured I would start today's episode with me looking the way that I uh, the way that I feel. But you know what? I'm glad that you joined us. It's another Sunday. It's another episode of Coffee with Conti right here on the Corvette Vlog. You might be a Corvette lover. You might be a Corvette owner. You might be a future Corvette owner. Maybe you're just a sports car fan. And this all this Corvette talk has got you intrigued, and you're kind of kind of coming on over to the other side and welcome to the channel uh, I'm just like that a guy who loves a car but here's a cool thing I get to give you a perspective from me as a retailer I sell this car but I love the car so I get some of the concerns and the things that you guys talk about and I love sharing your stories I love sharing your journeys welcome to my channel support it subscribe thumbs up this video make a comment down below at the end of it if you like it because today on the episode I have three Corvette deliveries that's the stuff I love sharing on the channel is you guys getting your car and everybody has a different story and sometimes it starts right here on this channel that's pretty cool the problem is though I've got three customers today three deliveries scheduled but I only deliver two and a half cars <laughs> what the heck's up with that? Oh, I apologize. We have to start off our Coffee with Conti episode with the coffee mug and a sip. Oh, you don't have one of these? You joined us early? First five people to comment on this video within the continental United States, you get a free Corvette Conti YouTube mug. All right, how about that? Welcome to the show, guys. You know, you gotta, if your coffee's not hot, it's just, it's just not coffee, right? Oh, I love it. Love it when it's hot. Thanks again for joining us, guys. It is wonderful to be here with you, just broadcasting, connecting on YouTube, connecting through Corvette. Yeah, buddy. Out of the deliveries I'm going to share with you today, uh, one is a clip that was from a while ago that I'm excited to share with you. Uh, it's a purchase that is not just a reward for himself. It's a car that he ordered, but it's a car that was also very special because it was in memory of his dad, so I can't wait to share that with you guys. Hey, one thing I'm working on real quick, uh, just so you know that I, this creative, goofy stuff keeps bouncing around in my head. Now, I watched the Super Bowl, and one of those commercials I saw re-air after the Super Bowl, and I'm sitting back looking at it, and I'm like, that was simple, but you know what? You know what? I can, I can take that commercial, and I can flip it to a Corvette theme. It's easy. To me, it's going to be easy. It's very simple. I think it'll be effective, it'll be on point. I just want to share that with you guys. I'm hoping that I can film that and get that up for you in the coming week. And when you see it, you'll go, wow, you took something that was a beer commercial, same premise, just took their thing and you made it, it's Corvette. Because there really isn't any Corvette commercials. Although, <laughs> although, good segue, huh? Although there is a Corvette commercial I've been waiting to share with you guys. Well, it's not... It's not a Corvette commercial. I call it a Corvette commercial. It's a Butterfinger commercial. This, this video is not sponsored by them in any stretch of the imagination. It was just cool to see this old, dirty Corvette <laughs> in a Butterfinger commercial. Now, if I was the marketing guy, now think about it. I'm going to share this with you in a second in case you haven't seen the video. Think about this for a second. Uh, remember back in the Transformer movies and they started coming out and he had that Stingray concept? Yeah, that car. Everybody thought that car was this car that we have now, the C7. It really was just a movie concept car. I guess with these Butterfinger guys, if people got hooked, you know, you used a Corvette, but if people got really hooked up with Chevrolet, you could have masked off the C8 a little bit to kind of, I mean, we've been teased enough. Hey, why not a little bit more? But you could have put that C8 in that commercial. People would have said, now is that, is that the C8? I didn't, that been cool. Anyways, here's the Butterfinger commercial. Check this out. Hey. Check this out. Butterfinger. It's a better Butterfinger. An improved recipe with high quality jumbo peanuts. Better crispity, crunchity, and peanut buttery. Better Butterfinger. Nobody lays a finger on my better Butterfinger. Whoa. Butterfinger, now better than ever. Dig it. 
All right, thanks for joining us, you guys. Now let's share some people that come here. I love it when you come here and I can go through the car with you and I can show you how to use everything. You, you, you At least you leave forgetting half of what I said, but you feel a little bit more comfortable with what you just bought. And it's wonderful to have the opportunity to share these folks with you today on the vlog. Thanks for joining us. Oh yeah, that's a sweetheart. Hi everybody, welcome to this segment of the vlog. And if this segment actually makes it to the vlog, that means that John from Michigan came down and he bought this 2003 50th anniversary car. Yeah, no cowboy hat today, sorry. <laughs> I do like that. And thanks for all the compliments, you guys. It looked like you had a lot of fun with that last vlog. Appreciate that. Do have my uh, Corvette sweater vest on from, just because the last vlog we were talking about. You see that? National Corvette Museum. Now, I know this is not the current logo, but I just love this sweater. I think this was made by uh, Cutter Buck. So museum, you need to get some more of these because uh, uh, I'm a buyer. This car, a one owner car, yeah, on the showroom floor was 7,000 miles. I briefly mentioned this before when the guy traded it in. I was, you know, there's only a few options you can get in 2003. I asked him, I said, hey, you know, okay, it's an automatic. We knew that it came standard with a magnetic ride control. Uh, the body side molding was an option. A lot of folks didn't know that. I said, do you have the 12 diff CD changer? He said, What's that? To see if we can get the tripod position. Looks like somebody's already been in there. So that big cubby back there. So yeah, there's your 12 inch CD changer that's controlled by the face of the radio up front in the car. But here's the, here's the magazine. It's never been used. We've mentioned it many times over on this vlog too, in case you didn't know, this is the car. Well, this is the generation that to me, you guys know it, it saved Corvette. It gave you the term of user friendly Corvette. So I'm looking forward to meeting John. I do hope this segment does make it. We've been talking for a while. Uh, he's been fighting a little bit of weather up there in Michigan. Thankfully, it's just windy and cold here in Ohio. We can deal with that. You guys can keep all that snow. Pete in Wisconsin talked to him the other day. He says, man, we got 15 inches of snow. <laughs> I said, you know, I used to work in Wisconsin. I said, boy, I, I do miss you guys. But it's like, 15 inches? No, I don't, I don't miss you guys. <laughs> crazy man i'm ready for spring more ways than one. Oh my gosh so when john was talking to me on the phone and and i didn't know that he had watched the channel so this just made me chuckle and it made me proud and it was pretty neat he says hey i got a question for you and i'm like okay because we'd already talked about the card i'm like okay what other questions could you have he goes do you do send-off pads on used corvettes <laughs> yeah. yeah buddy i most certainly do yeah, yeah, I'm not supposed to be holding the camera, but I'm holding the camera, but we're only, we're gonna send the car here in a second. Outside, hey, I'm back doing my thing, man. I love it. We're doing a delivery with Ty picking up his new Grand Sport. Just, you know, we just got lucky. Some of those extra purchases that we that we make, you know, for the dealership and get extra inventory in here for you guys. We had the red on red in a 3LT, in a seven speed, in a Grand Sport, and Ty is freaking pumped. I am <laughs> stoked. Hey man, you know, and a lot of times I get people on the channel, and I know you're watching. In fact, we, uh, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. You got a relative that bought a Z06 yeah. from us, and uh, he's gonna be on a future vlog. I've already talked to him, but, He's already got his car, so how's it gonna be on a future vlog? Eh, a little something I want, something different, so stay tuned for that. We'll, we'll have some fun with that. But I talk about the flexibility you guys give me as an honor to earn your business. And lo and behold, and I'm not gonna go and beat a dead horse again. Yeah, you know, I don't wanna hear it, Ricky, you're not feeling good and you're sick. Man, I was laying in the hospital, coming off pain medicine, and I'm texting him. And that Saturday morning, I said, uh, I'm not gonna be in the office today. <laughs> Was laid up bad. He goes, no problem. Drives up quite a ways, does a deal, pays for the car, has some stuff done to the car. Now he's here today picking the car up. So that is big time flexibility. And I just want to thank you for that. You're I really welcome. do. I appreciate it. I you know, appreciate I'm it. I'm just glad that I'm, I'm not 100%, but I'm glad that I'm here because I do like to do the, the, the delivery. We're going to show, we're going to sit in the car here because it's windy and cold and show them how to use some of the stuff. And that's the fun stuff. So yeah, you love the car. The car looks good, but you got all these buttons. If you don't know how to use them, then you're just like, yeah, that's no fun. So I want you to have, I want you to have fun, man. It's going to be a good time. This is your first vet too, isn't it? First vet. Good. Where's Where's go, man? Hopefully. We're the grand sport. Yeah, first of many. That's what I'm talking about. That's my line. Yeah. Hopefully my wife isn't going to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to get in, but I had to show you guys. See how nice the 3LT looks with the red? Look at the red on the red. Oh, man. Man, that's that's Corvette, brother. That's good. <laughs> you got your driving glasses? You're ready, ready to roll, go. dude. All right. Oh, yeah. Glass top car. For you guys that have glass top cars, actually, I'm going to talk about this with Matt when he picks up his car next week, but we're in uh, Ty's car now, so let's talk about it now. If you got a glass top and 
it, it's neat. It works out good for you guys in Ohio. And you'll notice my inventory. I don't really order a lot of cars with a glass top because of a lot of the warmer climates that we deal in. Yeah. But this is good because it gives you a little more upward vision in the car without taking the top out. Yeah. But if you get into a point, this is going to be a free plug. RPI, you owe me on this one. <laughs> if you get to the point that where it gets too hot, they make a wonderful RPI design. It makes a nice liner. It's about this thick. And it's not one of those that has the double-sided tape because that's a mess. It's suction cups up in here and okay. it contours your top so it'll simulate the headliner that you would get in a painted top perfect cut it down in the summertime and then you drive around at night you want the upward vision and just you know feel a little bit better pop it out, pop it out lay it down flat on the back and you'll be good to go so that's a little tip for me buddy rick in rpi i'll get you for that one but <laughs> <laughs> but this is all about ty picking up his car we had a lot of fun showing him the features the seven speed he's excited about uh, i'm doing what i can to get more seven speeds in here for you guys it is such a different driving experience uh, for a lot of you guys you may have seen this we talk about this it's kind of funny ladies don't get mad because this is the truth a lot of the guys buy automatics for you so it's not like you're not forgotten you know on these corvette purchases but then you never drive the car so they're like, screw it. I'm getting the seven speed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so enjoy it. Uh, I, I, again, the, the flexibility. You, you came in and paid for this car. I'm laying in the hospital and uh, and then uh, came back to pick it up so we could sit here and do this stuff. I mean, the, the, the involvement and the connection I love with you guys at delivery means a lot. So thanks, thanks for allowing me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That, Congratulations to you, dude. Thank you. Thanks for everything. And then, yeah, when Thank I come you. down to see uh, see uh, Kyler, you know, maybe we'll see you over there. Absolutely. Well, you're like, what are you up to now? Stay tuned. I'm just trying to get a little bit better so I can travel a couple of hours, and we're going to have some fun on a vlog with one of our Corvette customers and what he does for a living. <laughs> all right. So sitting through, like, all right. I got, I got to, you know, with this, I'm getting used to this YouTube thing, so I got to throw these little teaser hooks out there so people at least come back, right? I hope you come back. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to jump out of here. We're going to do a little send off, Pat. That's good. You're going to go enjoy your car, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks for everything. All right, congratulations, Ty. Send off, Pat. You are an owner of a beautiful Grand Sport, dude. Thanks for the biz. Appreciate it. Don't stall it, brother. <laughs> here I just revving it up. Don't stall it. You probably couldn't see him with the tinted windows, but he waved to us. Appreciate it, man. All right, let's have some fun. John was here from Michigan with his wife, and yes, they are going to be taking the 50th anniversary, so let's see if we can't get them on the vlog. All right, so remember I started this vlog. I said, if the segment makes it to the vlog, that means that John and his wife came down from Michigan. They're here, and they did buy the 50th anniversary that I was showing you guys earlier. So it's kind of a bummer. They've got a five-hour drive back and he's gonna come back again and we'll do a full delivery. This is the guy, that's, I told him this morning that when you, uh, when you and I spoke, you said, hey Rick, do you do send off pats on used cars? And I just thought that was the coolest thing. I'm like, yeah, I do, man, we'll do that. So, gotta get the pat. Yeah, I gotta get the pat, we gotta get the pat. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I just wanna thank you for the business, get you guys on the vlog. Uh, you've got another five hour drive back, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, that's a long ways, but he's got, he's got a beautiful one owner, 7,000 mile, Starter Corvette, as John called it when we were out. Yeah, it was my first bet. So first bet. That's waited good. about 45 years. So yeah. good for you, man. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thanks for watching. You know, I didn't know that you'd watch the channel. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks oh, for being yeah. on there, just sharing your experience. Uh, you got a chance to drive the car, and when he gets here, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit real quick. It was a good question that we get. He goes, and it, we'll show you guys later. He says, "Is there an easy way or a right way to get in and out of these cars?" And I said, "The problem is, especially you know, the convertible that he's getting is when the top's down. People have that tendency that just it's real easy to open the door and just we slide right on in, and you destroy that side bolster. So we'll go through that a couple of different ways that we talked about as far as getting in and out of the car so you can protect the seat and that kind of stuff. So it was interesting. Yeah. He had some good questions. He had a he had a whole list of questions. I answered them all. I answered all of them." <laughs> All right, thanks, Rick. Thank you, Jack. Congratulations. I really appreciate it. Right. I'm excited that you're actually getting this car, you know, knowing that it's a one owner, knowing somebody that's going to appreciate the car. Definitely. And knowing that there is maybe, as we plant that seed, remember, Sad, this this is not a one and done deal. This Corvette thing is addicting. So there right. might, be a, C, might <laughs> be a C7 on the horizon. And you know what's funny? He, and this is the other thing we were talking about this morning. And, and, and you said the sentiment that is really just resonating within the Corvette community right now. He goes, I'm sick and tired of waiting for the C8, you know. It, yeah. it's, it's frustrating, isn't it? Sure. 
not yeah. doing anything and this and that. So get yourself a nice vet and we'll see what happens. But yep. uh, thanks for the opportunity to come down oh, here, man. It pleasure. means a lot. All right. So when he gets here, we'll do the send off pad and talk about getting in the car and some other fun things. All right, you guys. So thanks for joining us and congratulations. Yeah. Hey guys, so this part of the vlog, uh, I, you know, throughout my day, I get diverted all over the place. I mean, but that's the nature of the beast. You know, stuff from the internet, people coming in, text messages, emails, what have you. I'm just having a blast promoting and talking Corvette with you. But right now, I've diverted my day to talk to you on camera right now because I just got something from Parts. Uh, it was sent to me from one of our, uh, not only our YouTube viewers, uh, but is soon to be a Corvette Conti family member. Uh, and Sean gives me the box and he goes, Hey man, he goes, uh, you might want to check this out. He goes, it sounds like there's liquid in there. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you guys hear that? <laughs> now, many of you know what this is. This thing's heavy. Look how big this thing is. This is huge. I'll give you an idea. Okay, so here's a 118 scale die cast Corvette. Let me lift this thing up. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Look how big. <laughs> it's huge, isn't it? Isn't that crazy? Okay, so. My younger audience, you don't know what this is. This is from 1978. This is a Jim Beam decanter, and many of you will see <laughs> that it's never been opened. And the liquid in here is bourbon. Here's a quick note I got from Kevin. He says, Rick, hopefully you can find some space in your office for this beauty. I thought about you as soon as I saw it. This was part of a collection of my dad's, who was also a Corvette freak. Perfect fit, knowing that driving the pace car is one of your dreams. Nice thing about this, if you're having a tough day, you can just open it up and <laughs> have a sip of bourbon. Thanks for all that you've done for me. I'll see you soon. Kevin, Kevin, thank you. Wow, man, this was your, um, this was your dad's? Yeah, you bet I'll find a spot for this in the office and I will never, I will never ever get rid of this. All right, so before Kevin gets here, let's show off his car for you guys. Look at this, he ordered this. 2019 Z06. The dual stripes we haven't seen in a long time, but if you, and usually these are done in carbon flash. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up well, but if you look at it close enough, these are actually done in the dark gray. And it's a great compliment. Oh yeah, chrome wheel car, carbon ceramics. Okay, so if you order dual racing stripes, what am I doing over here on the side? Let's get to the front and show off this car. I love how it comes down here real skinny and then it widens up as it goes through the car. And what's pretty cool too is Kevin watches the channel, so when he gets here, there won't be any warm and fuzzy before we turn the camera on. Oh no, he gets out of the car, that's going to break his face. <laughs> We're talking about Kevin's dad that he lost just about a year ago. Yeah, and his dad used to have a 78 silver anniversary car, and he told, <laughs> you're going to love this, told Kevin, don't drive the car. But what did you do? <laughs> I ended up driving it. <laughs> no means go, so. He was, he was out of town or something? You yeah, he had gone out of town. I had seen your prom coming up. I had to pick up the tux, so I uh, cranked it up, picked up my girlfriend at the time, and uh, unfortunately, it wasn't my lovely wife. Aww, no, that's but, all right. Yeah, yeah. As soon as, soon as, come to those as, two yeah. <laughs> as soon as I picked her up, she said, are you crazy? Your dad's going to kill you. And I said, well, you know, you had to do it, so. <laughs> Young and dumb, yeah. so. At least it didn't turn into a Ferris Bueller's Day Off oh, type of scenario. Oh, yeah. Right, Would right. Bad, yeah, so. no, that's all right, though. Yeah. That's good. That's but his good. dad loved the vets, and his dad would have been proud of him. He would have, he would yeah. have wanted to go for a ride. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Well, and that's what Kevin wanted to do. He wanted to kind of emulate that silver anniversary on his 19 out of, out of memory of his dad. And uh, nice job, Kev. Aha, uh -huh, see, told you. Right up oh, there. Oh, there it is. is. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I I'm like, that. I remember that. Right, right next to the sinkhole. Because yeah. he was telling me, and I'm like, which one was it? I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Well, he actually had it in the spare bedroom. It was yeah, on. Yeah, I remember the on the shelf. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'll stay in here forever. Really will. Love that. Yeah, that really meant a lot. Little, you got a nice little collection here. Oh my gosh, listen to this thing, guys. This is an idol. Can you hear that? Love of the course of extreme. Wow. Kevin's in the car right now talking to OnStar, getting all his account stuff set up, getting ready to drive back just south of Chicago area. He's really, really exciting. I mean, what an emotional day. First ever C7 he ever sat in. This car, his car, 
we got to share that with you guys right here in the vlog. Thanks for joining us. I really can't get over this exhaust. I should have spent some more time with this with you guys. I've forgotten that you got the extreme. Wow, man. I love it. Hey, before you get in there real quick, I just want to say thank you again for uh, just making me a part of this. And uh, I know Chuck is no longer on doing regular YouTube videos, but you found us through the Corvettes 918 channel. Exactly. And you're now part of my Corvette family, and I and, can't be uh, more honored, man. I really can't. And it's, it's nice to be part of that family. And anybody out there that is considering doing this, yeah. get all the Rick. He uh, makes it easy peasy. So Thanks, man. You're yeah, awesome. Pull the trigger and get it done. Thanks, Rick. Thanks. You know, the nice gift you gave me from your dad, Yeah. this being about your dad, it's really an honor to be a part yeah. of it. Seriously, man. I really appreciate it. You're a good that. guy, man. So. You are too, man. I'm glad, so I'm glad you, we talked about shipping. I'm glad you came here. Ah, thank thank you for that. Too. Colette, yep. thank you so thank much. You, Rick, you guys have been a blast. I love it. Thank you so much. All right, brother. All right. We got to do the send off, Pat, now. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Kevin and Colette. Really appreciate the business. Wonderful to be a part of your first Corvette purchase. today's episode thanks a lot for watching and from what I watch and what I see from the, the analytics you guys really watch my videos a lot longer I think than most and I think that is a credit to you it's it, it's the people that we're we're talking with and we're talking about and this car so thanks for hanging in there you watch the whole video you see what's going on uh, the comments and the interaction amongst each other and then you make towards me uh, is fantastic some retail stuff real quick a lot of people of late because we don't have that definitive end. Is there a 2020 C7? And the question's a thousand times a day. Uh, it's exhausting. Guys, as soon as I know something, bam, I'll put it on the channel. But if you're looking to order a car right now, Stingray, Grantsport, Z06, let's have some small conversations on ZR1. That's a whole different situation. Email address is up on the screen. Let me know how I can help you. Some incredible, flexible pricing, more than usual, because we have to. I mean, we're a top 10 Corvette dealer, so we get it. We're trying to be flexible, giving you a reason to, to buy your car here uh, and help you facilitate it, whether you're coming here, shipping it, museum, that type of thing. Help me walk through that stuff. But if you're looking to order a car and you want to order a specific car, that's cool. But I've got 50-some cars in stock right now, so if you're a little flexible, uh, i got some good opportunities out here too. So looking forward to talking to you in the retail capacity as we move here in Ohio. Yeah, what is this, almost the end of February now? Um, our season is starting to kind of kick off. The inquiries are starting to come in. Yeah, all right. Corvette, Corvette season, baby. Yeah, I'm excited. Thanks again for joining us. I say that a thousand times, but it means a lot to know that I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually talking to somebody. <laughs> see you guys in the next vlog. I'll see if I can get that Super Bowl remake beer video into a Corvette thing later this week. Appreciate it, guys.